How's everyone doing? Today I'll be reviewing 2012's Project X. This is basically just an all-out party film. It's produced by Todd Phillips, who's the director of the Hangover movie, so that kind of got this a little bit more buzz as well. And if you've seen Project X, definitely let me know what you think of it. Let me know what your favorite party movie is as well. And the whole movie is shot in the POV style, which has been popularized by the recent uh, found footage movies. And it's basically about three kids in high school, and they're all kind of losers. And they're, you know, they want to throw a party for their friend. It's his birthday. And they're going to go all out. They're going to try to invite as many people as possible. And the kid whose birthday it is, uh, his parents are going away for the weekend because it's their anniversary. And of course, you know, if your kid has a birthday, you know, you go ahead and skip town. Forget that. But his parents give him the minivan as well for a birthday present. It's his 17th birthday. And, you know, it's a nice pool in the backyard, really big pool. And of course his friends are going to throw a party for him and kind of, you know, try to get all the cool kids to come and get as many people as possible. And they have a big, you know, uh, bouncy castle in there as well and a DJ set up. And so they're all prepared for this. And of course the one kid whose house it is doesn't want everything to get wrecked. So they have two little like 12 year old security guards there. These tiny little security guard kids, which I thought that was kind of entertaining. Uh, but basically they're trying to stand guard to make sure nobody goes in the house. And you know, once the party goes off, you know, of course people start going in the house and you know, they're trying to stop people from going upstairs. And you know, at one point you see the kid whose house it is, he gets up on the table and everybody's partying and you, they think he's gonna, you know, say a speech and say, thank you for coming. But he's gonna say, you know, get the heck out of my house, you're ruining my house. But he thinks that they really like him, they're enjoying the party, so he doesn't say anything, gets back down, you know, celebrates. And you know, there's people jumping off the roof of the house into the pool, all kinds of crazy shenanigans. And it's a lot like Super Bad meets Hangover. And even some of the characters are a lot like uh, Super Bad. Like if the one character is the fat kid with the curly hair, it kind of looks like Jonah Hill a little bit. And then the one kid named Costa actually has the personality of Jonah Hill's character from Super Bad. He's kind of really loud and obnoxious. And even the lead character in here kind of reminds me of Michael Sarah's character in Superbad, where he's kind of reserved, more of the nice guy, and he's not too sure, he's kind of cautious about having the party. And of course the Jonah Hill character in this one, Costa, he kind of says, no, no, we're going to do it, it'll be fine, it'll be a good time, it'll be, everything will be alright. And of course, you know, it spirals out of control and things get broken and... You know, things get lit in fire and craziness happens. And even in one of the parts at the end of the movie, after the movie ends, uh, you see a couple pictures that weren't shown previously in the movie, a la The Hangover, all kinds of crazy pictures. But that's basically what this movie is. It's super bad meets The Hangover with high school kids. And it's just basically an all-out party movie. And I think the younger generation will really relate to this movie and enjoy it because, you know, it's an all-out party movie. And that's what these kids want to do. They want to party it up and have fun. And, you know, of course, that's what you want to do at that age. But if you're over the age of 25, you're probably not going to enjoy this movie because there's really no character development, no depth to them at all. And you don't really care about the characters, so you don't care what happens to their house or any of their furniture or anything like that. This movie is just one big music video, essentially. That's what it really feels like to me. You know, they have different songs from Eminem and Kid Cudi playing different party scenes. The only good part about this movie for me personally was the party scenes with the music going on and you have the party and people just acting wild and crazy. That was entertaining because like I said it's just like one big long music video and that's what this movie really is essentially because you don't care about the characters. Uh, you have different crazy things going on. You have people getting the little Yorkshire Terrier dog getting that dog high. You have uh, these kids stuffing a midget into an oven and then the you know the midget gets out and he starts punching people in the nuts. And all the kids are smoking weed, dropping ecstasy, drinking underage, hooking up with one another, having sex, and things like that. And you know, you have a, a drug dealer who goes crazy and starts uh, flamethrowing the whole neighborhood, and there's a riot, and there's all kinds of crazy stuff. You see a kid running around on a horse, and, and I really felt bad for that poor dog. They were just abusing that dog. They tied the dog up to a big thing of balloons at one point, and it was getting ready to float off, and you know, they're getting the dog high. I think they made the dog drink as well. Tons of crazy stuff happens in this movie, but there's absolutely no substance to it. And of course, as the party goes on, it spirals out of control, and things go crazy. Things get broken, and the house gets destroyed, and all kinds of different things like that. But, you know, at the end of the movie, of course, you know what happens. They, oh, we had a great time, blah, blah, blah. And they're all in the news and stuff like that as well. And, and then once the parents get home, you know, the father, you know, says... I'm proud of you, son. I didn't think you had it in you. And let me tell you, if you really burn down your parents' house, that's not what's going to happen. You're getting the ass whooping of a lifetime. And it's billed as a comedy movie, but I really didn't find anything funny in this movie. Like I said, the only parts I really enjoyed were the party scenes with the music going, and it just felt like, you know, like I said, a music video. That was really the only part I enjoyed about this movie. There's nothing else to take away from it. And comedy? Where's the comedy? I, I just, I don't know, I didn't see it there. If you want to see another movie like this, but much better, much enjoyable, where the characters have some depth to them, and there's actually some comedic moments, watch Super Bad. But my big issue with this movie is that it just perpetuates the whole trashy reality TV kind of vibe that, you know, you don't have to take responsibility for your actions, just party it up, don't do anything with your life, just take drugs, drink, and, you know, act stupid, and everything will be alright.
but no, that's not reality. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing this movie and should just take it how it is, but for me there's little enjoyment to this movie. But anyways, this movie is just all about turning your brain off, and if you're a younger viewer, you're definitely going to appreciate it more. Uh, if I had to rate it from my perspective, I would give this movie like a 3 out of 10 for anybody over the age of 25, but if you're a middle school or a high school student, you'll definitely enjoy it more. So if you're into these kind of party movies with no substance and no character development, and you just want to watch a prolonged music video of partying and drinking and drug usage and you know, dogs getting high and midgets stuffed into stoves and people getting punched in the nuts and things like that, then check out this movie, because that's what this movie is. And if you've seen Project X, definitely let me know what you think of it, and let me know what your favorite party movie is as well. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.